Pronunciation difficulties for Spanish speakers. Hey there! Welcome to our English language learning series. In today's video, we'll be exploring common pronunciation difficulties faced by Spanish speakers when learning English. Pronunciation is an important aspect of language learning, and understanding the challenges specific to your native language can help you overcome them more effectively. So, let's dive in. English and Spanish share some similarities in pronunciation, but there are also several key differences. One of the biggest challenges for Spanish speakers is the sound inventory. In Spanish, there are fewer sounds compared to English, which means some English sounds may not exist in the Spanish language. These differences often lead to difficulties in accurately pronouncing certain words and sounds. 2.1 TH sounds. One of the most common pronunciation difficulties for Spanish speakers is with the TH sounds. English has two TH sounds, the voiced TH, as in this, and the voiceless TH, theta, as in think. Spanish doesn't have these sounds, so it can be challenging to produce them correctly. A common substitution is using the D or T sounds instead, which can affect the clarity of your speech. To practice these sounds, try using your tongue between your teeth while gently blowing air. 2.2 V and B sounds. Another challenge lies in differentiating between the V and B sounds. In Spanish, these sounds are often interchangeable, but in English, they have distinct pronunciations. The V sound is voiced V, while the B sound is voiced and has a slight puff of air B. Practicing minimal pairs like vote and boat can help you develop a more accurate distinction between the two sounds. 2.3 Silent Consonants Spanish speakers might also struggle with silent consonants. English has many words where certain consonants are silent, such as the H in our or the K in me. Since Spanish typically pronounces all the consonants, it can be tricky to remember when to pronounce or omit them. Listening to native speakers and practicing the correct pronunciation of these words can help you overcome this difficulty. 3.1 Word Stress Word stress is another aspect that can pose difficulties for Spanish speakers. In Spanish, the stress often falls on the second to last syllable, while in English, it varies depending on the word. It's important to learn the correct stress patterns of English words, as misplacing stress can change the meaning of a word. Listening to native speakers, practicing stress patterns, and using dictionaries or online resources can aid you in mastering word stress. 3.2 Sentence Rhythm Additionally, Spanish and English have different sentence rhythm patterns. Spanish has a more regular rhythm, with a tendency to stress all syllables more or less equally. English, on the other hand, follows a stress-timed rhythm, where stressed syllables occur at regular intervals. This can lead to challenges in maintaining a natural rhythm while speaking English. To improve your sentence rhythm, try listening to English music or podcasts, and practice mimicking the natural rhythm and intonation patterns. And that wraps up our exploration of common pronunciation difficulties for Spanish speakers learning English. Remember, practice and exposure to the language are key in improving your pronunciation skills. Don't be 